Hi guys, in this video we'll be talking about on how you can root your Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone on latest XX DLIB firmware which is actually nothing but the Jelly Bean 4.1 firmware so you can directly go to the link which is being mentioned just below this article which will take you out here which I'm showing you right now on the screen so read all the instructions carefully and once you are done with all these backup instructions just need to download these both files those are nothing but the xxdlib 4.1.1 routing package and along with the odin so once you have downloaded that preferably download both of the files in the desktop so these are the two files which you have already downloaded it now once once it's done just need to click on extract files after that you also need to extract the Odin so once you have extracted both of these files you can see these are the two files which we have extracted so first up we will have to open the Odin so we have opened the Odin right now in the computer now we need to first up check whether our phone firmware is having the same version or not just tap on menu key tap on the settings and then tap on the about device wherein you will find the current firmware version as xxdlib which is the perfect one so once it's done just need to long press on the power button just need to power off the device once the device is powered off all you need to do is press the volume down key and then the menu button and then with the help of holding these both just press on the power button now you will see a warning kind of a statement that the custom OS can cause critical problems blah 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 so now at this point of time just ignore all that just press the volume up key which will take you to the download mode so this is the download mode on your Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone so once it's here just connect on the end to your laptop or your computer so once it's done just connect it here and once it's connected you see that the IDCOM section will turn yellow which will indicate that all the drivers have been successfully installed and now you are ready to go up next click on PDA head over to desktop where you have extracted the CA fruit file just double click on it and then set the CA fruit package ensure that this is a PDF file click on ok ok so the file will be shown up here in the PDF section so once it's done once you have selected the file all you need to do is just click on start so once you click on start it will take a minute so as you can see that the progress bar which is being shown on your Galaxy S3 as well so now as you can see that the Galaxy S3 device is now rebooted and is now installing a various of various number of files so now the Galaxy H3 device is now being rebooted we just hope that you have created a backup of all your data present in your smartphone so now we have to check whether the device is rooted or not which we will have to check via root checker app so let's check via root checker app you will have to download it
So you have to download the root checker application. So let's download the same. Ensure that the root checker application is being downloaded. That will give you a broader idea on whether your device is rooted or not. So here it is, the root checker app is now downloaded already, agree, ok, just tap on verify root access, it, allow, it has now asked for the super user request, just click on grant, so here you go, as you can see that message over here, congratulations the device has root access, so that's it from us, stay tuned for more. As in the coming videos, we'll be coming up with the uh, clockwork modric of the flashing and also other custom ROM firmwares in the coming days to come. Thank you and stay tuned to our channel, Advices Media.